My friends, it is the 7th of March 2024 and I'm here in Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. Today we're going to catch a Qantas Link domestic flight to Sydney and we're travelling on board of the Boeing 717-200 in economy class. Thank you so much for joining and coming along and let's begin the trip report. Hobart is a lovely city on the island of Tasmania. I've enjoyed my stay here and visited several sites around the island including Mount Wellington and Port Arthur. My main reason to come all the way in here has however little to do with Tasmania. As an aviation lover, I'm here for the Qantas Link Boeing 717, the very last chance to fly this iconic aircraft for the first and last time. I'm on a domestic flight with them to Sydney and this trip report will be a bit more on the geeky side. The airport bus circles around the CBD area of Hobart and then goes straight to the airport. Within half an hour, you are being dropped off right in front of the terminal building. The airport itself is very easy to navigate as it is small and straightforward. For this flight to Sydney, I could make use of the business class check-in while flying economy class. The reason for this is a mystery to me. I'm KLM Platinum member and Qantas is a KLM partner. But nowhere do they mention that they give perks to each other frequent flyers except for a few coach air flights. But hey, I'm not complaining. Security was a breeze and a fun thing to mention here is that when flying domestically in Australia, people who are not flying can go airside too, as long as they too go through security check. There are plenty of food and beverage options here, as well as a few retail options airside. I was however eyeing on a Qantas business class lounge. Maybe have access, maybe not. The agent glanced over my boarding pass and was welcomed in without any issues. Still, I think I shouldn't be able to access it because lounge access for a domestic flight is unheard of in the SkyTeam Alliance, let alone a partner airline who is in the One World Alliance. Anyways, the lounge is small but a lovely place to wait for your flight. Despite its small size, there are plenty of seats and everything was well kept by the staff. There is even a great apron view. There in the distance is a Qantas Link flight heading to Melbourne. Food-wise, there is a large variety of drinks available in the fridge, including alcoholic beverages. There is a pancake machine, soup, some cakes and bread rolls. But now comes the biggest attraction, a sandwich bar where you can make a sandwich to your heart's content and then toast it on the grill to perfection. First I started off with a bread roll, simple toast with ham and cheese and a can of coke. For round 2, I overloaded my sandwich with every topping possible and added an unhealthy amount of butter too. It's my first time seeing a lounge like this, but I really like the idea of making your own sandwich. Boarding followed soon and I could board as one of the first one. And there she is, nothing is better than boarding via the stairs as an aviation fan. The Boeing 717 looks very similar to the McDonnell Douglas MD80 and 90. And that's because it's actually a McDonnell Douglas designed plane. Originally designed as the MD95, Boeing purchased McDonnell Douglas and renamed it the Boeing 717. We first passed by the business class which is in a 2 plus 2 configuration, while economy class is in a 2 plus 3 layout. I'm on seat 19F and despite the retirement coming soon, the interior still looks fantastic. The seats are well padded and even have a headrest adjustable on the side as well as going up. They even feature a tablet holder, the magazine and safety card are up here, saving the legroom space below and the tray table will slice towards you. Below is an extra seat pocket for your personal belongings. The legroom space is more than enough for a short domestic flight. The recline of these seats are very limited, but it's still better to have some recline than nothing at all. Air fans are present and a must to have on warm and sunny days like on today's flight. Boarding was completed with an occupancy rate of around 90%. Flight time to Sydney will be 1 hour and 30 minutes. Use your electronic device at any time, let one of the crew know and avoid moving your seat. And just in case you've missed any of this, simply refer to our safety card located in your seat pocket. Keeping you safe is important to us. Please help us to create a safe, respectful and positive environment for everyone on board by respecting each other and our crew.
want us positioning itself as a full service airline on domestic flights. It means that check luggage, seat selection and a meal service is always included in the fare. This is reflected in the ticket price as Qantas is often the most expensive option to fly with and seeing this flight being almost full, it's a good sign that there are still many people who prefer an all-in package next to a business model where everything has to be bought separately. Meal service started soon after takeoff and we were offered a hot chia butter sandwich with mango lime chicken. A drink of your choice is offered and you could choose between hot and soft drinks as well as beer or wine. Now let's have a look at how our chia butter sandwich look like. Despite the small size, I really appreciate that they used pieces of chicken filet here and not thinly sliced chicken meat. The chia butter itself was very good, with a crunchy crust, soft inside and a generous amount of tender chicken. The crew even offered a second round of food with the leftovers and of course I can't say no to another sandwich. It is great when a crew does this because otherwise it will be wasted. Boeing 717 doesn't have Wi-Fi, charge points or any form of entertainment, which is understandable for a short haul domestic flight. Plus the fact that they will retire them soon. However, Qantas still offer a magazine on board and it features some nice travel articles. Here's a look at the toilet, it was spotlessly clean. While we are approaching Sydney, let's recap this flight. Qantas Link offers an amazing product on the domestic flights, with a very proactive and kind crew. Everything is included from check luggage, seat selection to food and beverage, and makes it a very relaxed way of traveling. The seat is above average, featuring great padding, an adjustable headrest, moderate recline, and decent legroom. Qantas just nails it. It's an absolute joy to fly the Boeing 717, and with the modern Airbus A220 replacing them, I'm confident Qantas has an absolute top-notch product for the domestic market. Here's by the way a shot of the back door of the Boeing 717. It could be used as a normal exit for passengers, but it rarely happens. This flight is part of an open jaw multi-stop ticket from Bali to Hobart and from Hobart to Hong Kong. I've paid 635 euros and 48 cents. A very fair price if you ask me, especially when considering a normal return ticket from Sydney to Hobart is sold for more than 200 euros. And that was Qantas Link from Hobart to Sydney. Thank you so much for joining and coming along. Take care guys and we'll see each other in the next video.